Hola, como estas? What does that mean? It means, hello, how are you in Spanish? We're in the Cotswolds. Well, we're not. We are. After An extension ne- of the Cotswolds, I guess. After Nailsworth, we headed to Stroud, which apparently is also the Cotswolds. Still not believing this, but geographically, apparently that is true. You're just incorrect. We, we, we went through this last time. Did we? We did, did yeah. Mm. Um, it's, I think it's like the lesser of the Cotswolds places. What do you mean? Not that it's not as nice, but it's not like as bougie, right? Fair enough. Yeah, like, did you expect more like boutique, you know, like some of the boutique charity shops and stuff? Did you expect well, more like that? I expect that from the Cotswolds. I know Shroud, but I don't, I wouldn't expect it. I, it's not boutique is it? This was a very cool jacket I'm just trying to pick up. Um, if anyone really recognises that logo, that's the Breitling logo from Breitling Watches. But it's actually an Alpha Industries. Industry jacket, um, which once again are very expensive. It was fifty pounds though, and as much as a lovely, lovely jacket, um, we're having of, a debate over this jacket. We have been. The thing was, uh, fifty pounds. I thought was okay. It's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. They go for quite a lot of money, but those comps you're seeing are usually not in this country. Firstly, and if they are, there's. They're slightly different jackets. They're either leather or they're a different colour combo, whatever else. The black and white seem to go for slightly, well, a lot less, actually. I've done some research since I've done even doing those comps, and they just go for a lot less. I just think that it would be a sitter. I don't think it's, like, a in-demand thing. That was some pink shocks. Those are some Nike shocks. From, like, 2008, 2007, they were. Yeah, people like the shocks. Shocks are very cool, Y2K vibes. This is a Toast Jumper that I'm looking at. Now, Toast Jumpers are an absolute vibe. Um, this is obviously, like, a grey, and there it's black, with, like, a multicoloured speckle. It was an XL. It was 15 quid. I think that they're... Either they're charging. It was bobbly. I got a see bobbler. Yeah, it's, it's true. It's not the point. Fisherman's knits and any like oversized knits from toast is very toasty. Someone asked me the other day what like I said that a floral dress wasn't very toasty and what was toasty. Anything utility, chunky yeah. knits, anything like relaxed. Toast ass, I see what you're saying. These are a pair of Versace jeans. Um, sandals or what's wedges? I guess. Would you call it a sandal? I'd no, call it a wedge. it's a wedge. I said sandal, then realised what I'd done. I did a bad thing. Uh, this is me and M. This is already sold. I know. We Amazing. bought this. I've been picking up me and M quite a lot. And you know what? I don't sell them for record amounts of money. Um, I, it's a very bread and butter brand for me. If you get anything like a bit more spectacular, like a coat or an I, you know, like an item of clothing that is like a proper like an item of not just a, a basic tea, which that kind of was. But any or plain a top. teas, I do really quickly. I sold them all on Vinted uh, for about between twenty and twenty five, and I'd like to pick them up under a fiver and just like quick flip. They only sit for like a week. Like they're good. They're good. They're good. Yeah, I I, I do understand. Um. I think half the time as well. Um, oh, this was cool. This was a Watchman as opposed to a Walkman from Sony. I don't think this is like 90s, maybe late 80s. I'm um, not entirely sure. It had the box. And you know what? We don't pick anything like this up ever, electronic, especially vintage or retro. I thought it looked really cool, so I obviously included it in the video. Um, they they were, were, were these exact items. I think it was £20, but they've gone on eBay for, as in to buy for like £100 and so on. Yeah, the box, but, but the solds were terrible. Uh, because it was twenty pounds, um, they were they were multiples for under twenty pound uh, sold, you know. So oh, I see what you're saying. The listings were the high, listings but the solds were lame. Yeah, and that's why I say sometimes the listings aren't everything. What are you pointing out? Is that the Harry Potter? Uh, is that the Harry Potter? I keep wanting to say wand, and then I want to say branch. What do you? What is it? Is it's a Harry Potter broom. Broomstick. Yeah, yeah, broomstick. The one that vibrates that uh, George Ross was talking about the other day. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh, I don't know. Was that the one? I wouldn't have picked it up even if it was a pound just because I don't want to store it, I don't want to sell it, and I don't want to list it. But <laughs> apparently those go for... F- they got banned or something, that's what you're saying. Because she called to four. We're in quarter four, so we are in quarter four. Um, so Do they sell toys. better because they got banned? Is that is that the kind yeah, of the point? Yeah, they were just oh, with you. because they vibrate, yeah. In a bad way, or an adult type way, should we say? I don't know. Like, I think like a lot. I'm not going to go into this right now, but a lot of toys vibrate. Like, yeah, I agree. I, the funny I think thing, people it, are just sickos. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that as well, Bethany. That as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I do know what you mean. Like, there's a lot of kids' toys that would vibrate. Like, it is what it is. Yeah. Anyway, other shop. Enough of that. <laughs> Another shop. 
this has some actually quite good stuff in. The, the thing about Stroud is, right, they had some decent shops and all the shops had decent things in. I'm independent, like, charities as well, no? They're not even that. It's that they were pricing up, but the shops were really grim. I love, I don't mind a price up, honestly. I'm, I'm all for a price up. Charities yeah, because I think do sometimes, what charities got to do. Oh, here's I a great want, example. I want the shopping experience as well. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do understand. Like, this was, what, £30, right? Now, once again, I hate to moan, but, like, is is what was it? Is that, Filthy. It, I mean, it's actually. I think I don't know if that's dirt or or bleach or whatever. Um, those coats you go for Kate Spade and Gem will go this for. This comp is very low. I just saw a, a Kate Spade wool coat for one hundred and twenty five. I was just gonna say Kate Spade coats in Gem will go for a lot. Generally, if they're good composition and good quality, that was literally like a light mac. Yeah. So there was it wasn't much to it as a coat, it, although it was I a coat. I would have got more than fifty though. Fair enough. But I didn't want to clean it. That yeah. was a dry cleaner. And it was thirty pounds to start with, mind you. Yeah. So saying you got more than fifty, fine, but like after fees and stuff, that's not that's not much fun, is it? This is a whistles um leather pouch. You remember when these used to be all the rage? Like, People used to take these them? out out, didn't yeah, they? This yeah, this is like the out out, like cold classic little whistles pouch. They go for around about, it depends. They can go for anything between 15 and 30, depending on the... Oh, my God, look at that black one. Um, but depending <laughs> on, um, I was going to say, leather and colour. This one being cream, um, or like an off-white, um, still goes well, but the blacks do go the best. Uh, but they, they did so many different colours, didn't they? There's like electric like, blue, there's like gold. They did like Christmas ones in metallics and all kinds. You pay £3.50. And I do like 25 to 30 £3.50, yeah. yeah fair. I, I also pitch them as clutches. I think they are, though, aren't they? Well, what are they supposed to be? Basically, it's a pouch. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, in the same respect, those uh, everyone from Louis Vuitton used to buy those um, toiletry bags. Toiletry bags. And now, actually, th that was like a £400 bag, or, or I say bag, it was a £400 like toiletry pouch. Yeah. And because people were using them as bags, Louis have added a chain to it, the exact same bag, and charge a thousand and something now. You're so talky today. You're very talkative. Am I? Shall I shush? No, but... Um, I'm trying to give some information. It's lovely. It's fascinating. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to leave right now. What are you looking at now? I have nothing. No idea. Dresses. I'm just holding my clutch and swinging it around. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Beautiful T-shirt there with the sun on it. It suits you, actually. What does? The clutch? The, the T-shirt with the sun. We've been checking uh, scarves a bit more this season. Scarves and sunglasses. <laughs> Sunglasses, scarves, ties, belts. Do you know every time something sells, which is totally not seasonal at the moment, where we've with sunglasses or we've done like a few pairs of like uh, high end shorts or whatever, every time they sells, Bethany looks at me gone out with this gone off expression because every time someone mentions in anything that we shouldn't buy things seasonally and we do, this is another toasty sells. toast. Yeah, it's totally. Fifteen pounds, one hundred percent silk, but it is so untoasty toast. I don't want it. I don't want it. It was also quite pulley. There was quite a few pulls on that dress. If I it was mean, mint condition, we might have thought about it a little bit more. I think no, a lot of people ask us. This is um, this a, is knockoff Comme de Garçon play by Comme de Garçon. A lot of people ask us um, why we don't pick up everything we show in our videos, and if there's profits to be made, why don't we pick it up? And I think there's like power in being. Uh, not niche. I've been a lot of people talking about being niche recently. It's I'm gonna say picky. Being niche. It's being. I don't know, working out what's best for your business and where your time is best laid and where your time is best used. So, to, so to break it down quickly, in my opinion, like that, just reference that coat. So, what would you get max for that Kate Spade coat earlier? About 130, I reckon. You get 130 out of that. Okay, say you did right. So it's 30 to start with. Yeah. We'd, we'd have it professionally cleaned most of the time, right? Yeah. It depends on the fabric. That one, maybe not, because it depends if it was machine washable, right? Yeah. So if it was machine washable, you wash it, you dry it, whatever, fine. I wouldn't machine wash. No, I, I, well, I wouldn't machine wash a coat, but I'm giving an example in general. What I'm saying is, so even at that, you, you maybe a £100 yeah, profit. Factor... Take your fees. Take if you're on a promotion... Factor in your time, your you, and also what you want in your shop and how you want your shop to sit. I know a lot of people have like shops that have like everything in it and blah blah blah. And if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Cool beans, um. But I think everyone has different um ways they want their stores to go and how they want them to appear and their businesses, I guess. Yes, they have some Matt and Nat in the cabinet there. You just saw briefly Matt and Nat's a great vegan range, and that's Aspen or London. Uh, it's a great vegan uh group vegan leather brand in the. Independent, um, and they do go quite well if you can pick them up for good enough prices. Does yeah, that make sense. Yeah, they are, and they're very active. They're very, very, very popular. They're quite kind of fashion forward for inverted commas vegan. A lot of vegan brands, unless they're like really, really high end, they're kind of like when they're, I, they're very when basic. Say vegan brands as well. They promote themselves as a vegan brand, whereas most high end brands and most 
mid-range brands do have um non-leather goods obviously that are made from vegan leather i'm not talking about cheap pvc and all this rubbish yeah just because it's not leather engineered yes leather that's a really good point a lot of people will like sell you a a cheap plastic bag as vegan Mm -hmm. because they're not because because in their opinion it doesn't contain leather Mm -hmm. that's not what i call a vegan bag whatever but i guess that's another discussion for another day it's like maybe a a podcast who knows as well louis vuitton the, anything that's like well not everything but most things of the L V monogram the classic brown and like beige that is coated canvas it is not leather not leather. Is leather there is leather on it that's the kind of like the the, the, the trim the trim in the kind of creamy colour which go, darkens over time that's called vachetta that's leather but the actual canvas itself isn't leather no what is this in Oxfam? I love Oxfam. Now, hear me out. I think Oxfam have some of the best range of clothes when you get an Oxfam with clothes in it. Yeah, I agree with that. It's hard to find Oxfams with clothes in. I feel like, though, the the um, the quality, of the, the, I mean, maybe I'm not showing it in this video, but generally the, the clothing in an Oxfam charity shop is quite good. Like, you get a lot of better brands, if you know what I mean, as opposed to, it's not Primark or, or New Look. I don't know. It, I... Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying as regards quality I'm talking about. Uh, this is a sweaty Betty ski layer. If anyone remembers from a few years ago, about five years ago, I reckon, they were giving these to every Tom, Dick and Harry influencer going. Yep. Um, and there's lots of different patterns. It is a ski layer. And those are some wide leg culottes. The ski layer I've already sold. I sold on Vinted uh, for 40 And these wide leg culottes, just quickly before it goes up a shot, these are sweaty Betty, just to clarify. And oh, they're yes. like... Did I not say that? I, I don't know if you did. On a, no, but I'm saying it, it's a very unusual usual um look for sweaty betty whereas we're used to leggings and stuff like that and this is a lily and lionel i've mentioned lily and lionel before um this is a hundred percent silk and this is the kind of stuff that you want to find from this brand um i found the dresses particularly no it's the western i call them like western looking dresses yep they also sold them in anthropology so if you want a keyword anthropology in the title then it, it doesn't not help are all lily and lionel anthropology or not no. No. Okay. So they have sold it that I think it's, it's at very some point. Specific to say that uh, amph- the anthropology sources brands that fit well in their store, but most of them are independent brands. They're not anthropology brands, but some are anthropology brands. I'm very with much you. Like TK Maxx without the TK Maxx. I'm with you. It's so this is Oscar jacket. It's men's. Oscar. Oscar, stop! It's Oscar, um, and that's twenty pounds. Um, it was just very, to be quite frank, it was very bland. And I find men's Oscar doesn't sell like ladies. Well, you can't get that lag- lagany looky thing with men's as you do with women's. You can, but you don't. It's, see it's a very lot. different look. I agree with that. Um, yeah. It's more, it's just a just a different look. Anyway, that was Stroud. We sum up Stroud really quick in like ten seconds. Stroud is decent if you're local to the area and you already pick it, then you already know it is quite good. You know, um, I think it's like the two ends the spectrum students and wealthy people I'd agree. Yeah. What a good way to put it. I know. Students and wealthy people. So if you're around, give it a whirl. If not, don't travel for it. See you next time. Bye.